Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at the power loader from one of my personal all-time favorite movies, Aliens. Max Factory has come out with this in their Modroid line. It's awesome and quite large as you can see, so let's go ahead and take a look at this in today's review. Alright guys, first off, we'll take a look at the box and its contents for this kit. I'm very excited to take a look at the power loader here. Not only is it the power loader itself, but you have Ellen Ripley in there as well. I gotta say, the face looking a bit uh, awkward and not exactly accurate, I don't know, but it looks close enough, I gotta say. And just the main focus is on the power loader itself and all the details and everything of that look really cool. On the ends of the box, just got another look at the painted sample build of the kit, just kind of in a different pose there. And the same thing here on the back of the box, showing some of the mobility of the kit there with uh, Ellen Ripley outside of the power loader, and then just some other detail images of that. So it looks like it's got a lot of hosing and stuff going on there, so you'll have a lot of parts like that that you'll have to put together. And as you guys can see, I mean, it's a pretty good size box there, and it does feel quite full. So got a fair amount of stuff in here and slide out our tray of stuff I know we do also have some water slide decals in there as well here is the water slide decals for all your caution striping on there that looks pretty cool as well as just some other little markings and things on there so you got some very nice decals and for the actual manual it's kind of like a inner and outer section here I guess but this is the part that's printed in color which just features like the same box art there on the back side, again, a lot of the same stuff we saw on the outside of the box, but here is going to be your uh, color guide, it looks like. And then on the inside, this is actually well, a couple of things. Here is the decal guide over on this side, just showing where all the decals go around on the kit, like so. And then just a little bit there at the bottom about just how to apply decals. Over here is the wiring guide. So because we have a bunch of wires on this, it shows like from the part on the back, like where all the wires are plugged in, and they're just color coded as to which ones go where on the kit here and there and everywhere. You got a bunch of wires that wrap around and all that kind of stuff. So that'll be quite complicated aspect of the build, I imagine. Then we also have our parts list here on this next section, which is just all in black and white. And this is also just going to be all of the construction of the kit. Now this part does not have the wiring guide basically. Looks like it just goes through all the construction and then you're just meant to refer to the wiring guide to finish that up. Here is basically the entirety of the construction of Ellen Ripley herself. This was basically all on that one page, so pretty straightforward, simple build for that. The last couple pages is kind of showing how to mount her into the uh, power loader there. So, all right, let's check out the runners. So first off, we do have our bag of extra bits, including some metal parts, which I guess are probably going to be used for like pistons. And then we got a red wire, a blue wire, and then a bunch of black hosing parts there. Runners A all the way through runner O are all going to be in this same yellowish color here. It's a very nice, slightly orangish color for the main color for the power loader, of course. Here's runner B and C, as you can see, some of these larger parts first and some very nice detail on these including stuff like the uh, number as a raised detail here on this so that's very cool. Runner D and E with a little dangly part on there that just fell off. Runner is F and runner is G. Runner H here that looks like where our uh, hoses are going to be attached onto there. I would imagine you again you have some nice cool like uh, texture on some of these parts, nice detail. Runner I featuring like the front roll bar that goes on the front of the power loader looks like. Runners J and K looks like they're getting into some of the parts for the arms I think. Runner L we've got two of these. I think this is for like the uh, hand quote unquote uh, hand parts of the power loader. Runner M we've also got two of these. Runner N we also have two of and runner O we have two of those. And that concludes all of our yellow parts. Then runners P, Q, R, S, and T are all going to be here in this darker gray color for some of the other mechanical bits of the construction. So you can see like some like a detail, like piston type detail parts, things like that. These are going to be parts for probably like on the bottom of the feet of that, for example, and like the seat belt kind of part that goes on the front of Ripley, the seat itself, like the seat back some of these parts there. And all the parts for Ripley herself are going to be here on runners U, V, W, and X are all going to be in this light gray color. So she's not going to be color accurate at all for Ripley. So even the skin tone parts there, skin and hair, everything's just going to be all 
and this light gray, so it's definitely going to be some painting required for this. And as you can see, it looks like it's going to have about the articulation of like your standard like action figure, so it's definitely not going to be anything like the articulation of like a Megami device type of uh, Mechamasume kit or something like that. Then we've got Runner Y, which is just this clear orange part here. And runner Z, which is just some poly caps here in a dark grayish black color. And that is it. All right, guys, here is the main kit all built up. And a couple things to point out that I did go ahead and remove all the seam lines on this already. So you will notice that a lot of it's already sanded and all that. It's not having the Ellen Ripley figure in there quite yet. I'll show that to you in just a moment. And it's also missing all of the rubber hoses that go around all over the kit. There's a lot of that. And that's also something that I'm going to add in later after painting the kit. But I wanted to give you guys an idea of how the kit looks just kind of built up straight out of the box. Now, obviously, again, like I said, with the seam lines and everything removed on it, and there were quite a lot of those. Just to go over some of the areas like here down this part of the arm, also on this part like around the hand, this part right here near the hand, and I'm saying like hand, you know what I mean, colloquially. Down here on the feet, that's two halves put together. This main part of the lower leg, there's a seam going down the back of that. On these piston parts here on the back, there was seams there, seam line down the back of here. So there was a lot of seams, and so it took a while to do all the seam removal on this. But the kit is looking really cool, so this top part here, will just open and close like that. And this does actually close all the way that these parts down here will kind of plug into right into there and your belt section there is obviously made to fit around your Ripley figure which we'll take a look at in here in just a second so I wish that they would have included a separate part so in case that you don't have a figure in there you just have like a loose version of the belt that's something we'll talk a little bit about more in a work in progress video later just because I want to try to bend this part because I don't want to ultimately my plan for this kit later is to not have a figure inside here but so I want to bend that to make it look like it's loose, like it's just hanging, but it would have been cool if that would have been an included part. You have the little torch here that doesn't move, that's just kind of stuck onto the side, but you can just pop that out of this little peg hole there and have that rotated to the front, something like that if you wanted to. But here in the arms, you can see those are going to move back and forth. This joint also rotates, but you can just rotate the arm there. So if you wanted to have the arm bending like at a uh, up and down axis like that you could just rotate that part but it's not actually really made to move that way I guess bending the elbow joint here extends the piston there at the back of the arm like that here at the kind of again wrist joint section here you have back and forth movement like that and also rotation of these of course and these will move the claw parts will move jointly so when you move one they're uh, on a gear so it's supposed to move both at the same time so those will close up entirely like that the metal parts here in the claws do look really nice that's a cool little touch even if you don't end up fully painting the thing at least it adds a little bit of metal looking stuff in there these kind of side pad bits here will move a little bit like that around here onto the back like that's where all of the tubes will be plugged into on this back section right there but again when you move the arm up and down it moves this piston there at the back which is very cool down here the legs will move in and out a little bit so you can get a little bit of like a angled stance out like that with those otherwise they're just going to rotate here forward and back a little bit but again it's all made you know realistically like realistic sci-fi in that there's supposed to be human inside here it's not like a mecha that's going to be walking around on its own but you also have a little bit of a knee bend there and again working piston there at the back like so here at the front these pistons are kind of weird because they don't really plug into anything there's spots where they look like they're supposed to be kind of attached to you see those like little circle bits there you could go ahead and attach those but then the foot is kind of at too much of an extended angle so if you wanted to have these actually connected onto there you probably need to cut this part and then re-glue it because it's just one single part rather than two separate ones but this foot will move forward and back here at that angle and you can also change the angle that a little bit side to side so like i said if you wanted to have it out at a little bit of an angled stance so basically everything moves on that that's supposed to move that works pretty well and then we have your Ellen Ripley figure. <laughs> Pretty basic. I've likened this to basically being like kind of your classic like 80s action figure, which I guess kind of makes sense in a way, except that it's not pre-painted for you. It's just all one single color here, obviously. So the head is on a ball joint. You can kind of move that around a little bit. The arms, you can kind of move a little bit. You have a basic joint here at the elbow. The waist, you can rotate that a little bit. The legs also move 
a little bit of movement there, the ankles don't move, and it doesn't really stand up on its own. Just the feet are not molded in a way that will really allow it to stand up straight, even if you have it like well leaning over. It just doesn't want to stand up, so you'd have to grind the feet a little bit if you wanted to have it actually standing. But again, it's made to fit into the power loader. And so around here on her back, we have this peg that's removable if you don't want to have that in there, but this is going to be the peg that you're going to use to plug her into the power loader. I didn't point out the handle here, but you have these handles that will slide forward and back here like that, which is cool, but her hands don't actually fit on there. So when you have the Ellen Ripley figure in there, you have to actually remove these and swap those out. I'm gonna swap them out for these more basic handles that her hands will actually fit onto. Those are just going to look like that. Like I said, much more basic, but unfortunately that's the way they made her hands to fit onto those handles. But here is how the kit is going to look once you have your Ellen Ripley figure inside there. And now again, this is missing the rubber hoses and also missing the water slide decals, which I think will add a lot to the look of this for making it, you know, looking really convincing with all the caution striping and everything around on there. But just to give you guys a general idea of how the kit is going to look built up straight out of the box. Out of the box, I would say, you know, it's an awesome kit. I'm really happy to get it. I just as a big fan of the Aliens movie and the franchise in general, I'm all really excited about this. I will say though, I don't think that it's one that really looks its best straight out of the box. It's definitely going to be one that you're probably at least going to want to do some weathering on. Just, I mean, like the color of the power loader itself is all basically right. If you just want to put the water slide decals on there and do some basic weathering on it, I think that'll make it look a lot better. As for your Ellen Ripley figure, obviously it's going to take a lot of paints to get her to look her you know, most accurate. Or maybe you're like me and you might want to just paint up the power loader and have your Ripley figure off doing something else and you have other plans for this and that's what I plan on doing with mine, something a little bit different. But that's for a project for a different day. For now guys, let me know your guys' thoughts. What do you think about this? It's a really interesting kit. I was not expecting this kit to ever be made at all so I'm really happy to have it like I said I'm a big fan of the movie what are your guys' thoughts let me know in the comment section below and of course if you're wanting to check out any of the different Modroid uh, kits this or other ones from Good Smile Company you can check them out at USA Gundam store the link will be down in the video description there as always and if you guys have questions you can let me know in the comment section there as well but for now guys thank you so much for checking out the video if you would like to like and or subscribe that would also be greatly appreciated but until next time hope you all are having a great day I'll see you guys later bye bye